Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of What's For Dinners. I know you guys love these so much and I love making them for you because I am a foodie at heart. If you guys make any of these recipes for your family, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know how you like them. I feel like we have some super yummy recipes for this week. If you are new around here, then welcome. My name is Jessica and I make videos every single week. Anything from recipes to home decor, hauls, and all kinds of things. So I hope you guys will stick around and subscribe. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you want to see more of these and let's get cooking. Okay y'all, so for dinner tonight we are actually going to have taco nachos. I've shown you guys before our barbecue nachos and it's kind of the same concept except for using taco stuff. So we will go ahead and ground this meat with the taco seasoning and once that gets cooked we will put our tortillas down on a baking sheet and add all of our toppings. We have some corn, rotel, black beans, salsa cheese and then we'll top it with sour cream once they come out but they are ooey gooey delicious just so yummy and such a fun way to like eat tacos besides just doing the same old boring thing so that is what's for dinner tonight and i'll show you guys once we get it prepared okay so bunky just finished um making our meat the taco seasoning is in there i have my sil pat out with all of the chips laid on top i've gone ahead and opened up all of the cans and drained them as well we have the oven preheating to 375 so i'm going to go ahead and start layering these and get them ready to go in the oven As you can see, I am only adding the retail to Bunky's side of the nachos. I do not really like tomatoes, it's not my thing, so I will put the retail on his side as well as the jalapenos. nachos are all layered up cheese is on them we're gonna go ahead and put them in the oven and they'll probably go in there for maybe like less than 10 minutes right whenever they're nice and cheesy yeah everything's cooked so they just literally need to go in there and melt yeah. it is out of the oven and it looks amazing I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up here it is all plated up just have to add some sour cream but it looks delicious Okay y'all, so it is actually Sunday and Bucky and I decided we wanted something really delicious for dinner. So we're gonna go ahead and start this macaroni and cheese. Brian's mom makes the best crock pot mac and cheese. So we said we're gonna make the same thing to go along with some barbecue chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and get this going. Usually it cooks on high for two hours, but because we have a little bit of time, we're gonna go ahead and put it on low at three hours and then we can check it in a little bit and turn it up if we need to. But we just boiled um is it eight ounces mm -hmm. yeah half a, box. half a box of elbow macaroni noodles and then i'll show you guys the recipe as we go along okay, so just so you guys know i will link this recipe down below because i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of questions on it but to the cooked elbow noodles you're gonna add one stick of butter we have just like a tub of butter so we're just gonna eyeball this and guesstimate how much one stick is i know it kind of looks like a lot but Okay. That, that looks like about a stick. You think? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> get crazy. Okay, I'm get crazy. Hang on, I can't get it off. Okay, so we're gonna add that. Okay, one can of evaporated milk goes in. And then we've just whisked together three eggs, and those will go in as well. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and stir this together and get it combined really well. Okay. 
Okay, and as far as the cheeses go, um, the recipe actually calls for two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, but we love the way Colby Jack just melts. It makes everything super like ooey gooey, and then Velveeta just makes everything super creamy, so these are the cheeses that we're gonna use. I just blocked some of this up so that it will melt faster, and then grated this just from a block of Colby Jack. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in. And then mix that together, pop the lid on, and let it do its job. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our chicken marinating in some barbecue sauce. And I think I have told y'all before that I like to make my own barbecue sauce. I do always add just a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's in there, but he says that's cheating, but whatevs, I add it in there. Um, I start with a little bit of melted butter and brown sugar, and then I kind of add in all my things. I feel like I put everything but the kitchen sink in there, but that's okay. It tastes delicious, so we'll go with it. Let me get the butter melted, and then I'll show you guys everything else that I add. Okay, so in here already, I just have the melted butter and brown sugar, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in some ketchup and mustard. And y'all, I don't measure any of this. So I apologize. I just make it. And we are having quite a bit of chicken, so I'm gonna try and make a lot of this. Okay, I'm adding yellow mustard. Ignore the sound. <laughs> okay, let me try and get it to where it doesn't make this sound. Hang on. Okay, this is what you get for um, buying off-brand mustard. Okay, I'm talking to you. You're not even listening. Okay, and then next up, I'm just gonna add in some stone ground mustard, just because I love all the little, I don't what you call them, pebbles that burst in your mouth. <laughs> And to that, I'm going to add in quite a bit of garlic. This is like a teaspoon, so maybe like three-fourths of a teaspoon. Lots of black pepper. Some red pepper flakes. Some cumin. Some apple cider vinegar. I kind of like it vinegary, so, you know. I'll add in a little of this green Tabasco. A little bit of raw honey. And last, but certainly not least, some Sweet Baby Ray's. And now carefully just mix all of this together. Okay, so once it comes together, it actually does kind of look like barbecue sauce, and I already tasted it. Mmm. It is so good. Okay, and for the chicken, we just have these chicken thighs skin on bone in, right, Funky? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. <laughs> and then some chicken legs as well, and we're just gonna put them all in here and pour this barbecue sauce on top. I did reserve a little bit of sauce so that whenever we are grilling these, we can actually baste the chicken in the sauce as well. And then if you want some when it's done to dip it in, then you have some leftover for that as well. Okay, we're out by the grill. The chicken has a marinating. It is looking good. And Bucky's gonna go ahead and put it on the grill. Okay, we're about halfway through cooking the chicken and it is looking amazing. We're gonna add some more barbecue sauce to it, but y'all, oh my goodness. Okay, chicken is almost done. Macaroni and cheese is finished. As you can tell, we've already eaten like three bites of it. But this is the best macaroni and cheese ever. It is the easiest recipe. I'll be sure to um, leave it down below so you guys can have it, but y'all, it's amazing. Okay, chicken is off the grill, plated up, and I am about to devour this. Literally, I'm drooling. Okay, y'all, so tonight for dinner, we are keeping it super healthy and easy. We have some chicken here that has been marinating since yesterday, and I always get asked what I marinate my chicken in, and it is Italian dressing, as well as a little bit of this Lowry's herb and garlic. We just mix those two together and then let it sit for overnight and it just makes the flavor so much better. We're also going to have some roasted sweet potatoes as well as some roasted broccoli. You guys have seen us cook 
most of these things probably a million times, but that is what is for dinner tonight. So I'm pretty sure y'all have seen me make these before, but I have just drizzled these sweet potatoes with some olive oil and I'm going in with all of my spices, some sage, cumin, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, a little bit of ranch seasoning, all the same things that I use all the time. Okay, chicken is off the grill. Sweet potatoes are out of the oven and so is the broccoli. And that is what's for dinner tonight. Okay y'all, so tonight for dinner we are having the Trader Joe's Mandarin Orange Chicken and every time I post a Trader Joe's um, haul, y'all always tell me how much you love this stuff and so do we. It is just delicious. So we're going to make this tonight and instead of putting rice with it, I'm actually going to make my little ramen recipe. I think I've told y'all before that I have like this little recipe that tastes so good. So um, I'll show you guys how I make it so easy and so inexpensive. So that is what's for dinner tonight. So for the chicken, basically you just dump it out of its package. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees, let this cook all the way through, and then it comes with two packages of sauce which you heat up and then mix it all together at the end and that is it, so easy. Okay, so I just have a pot full of boiling water. I'm going to put the ramen in there just as you would a normal bag of ramen, except for I do not put in the little seasoning pack. I do break it up just a hair bit, but not very much. Kind of just like break it in half and then let them go. Okay, and you'll just let those boil and get soft just as you normally would any other ramen. Okay, so these are done. I'm about to transfer the noodles from this pot to this pan. In this pan, I just have a little bit of butter melting with some garlic. And then once the noodles get in there, I will add some low sodium soy sauce, turn the heat up and let them get kind of crusty on each side. And that's it, so easy and they're so yummy. Okay, chicken is out of the oven. Bunky is opening the sauce and about to pour it on top. And it will just like literally melt right into it. Okay, everything is done and plated and it looks so good. And that's what's for dinner tonight. Okay y'all, so tonight is Wednesday and we are gonna have steaks. I picked these up from Walmart earlier. They are two ribeyes and to go along with them, we are gonna have a salad as well as some mashed potatoes. Now normally I would make homemade mashed potatoes but we did not have any in the pantry and to be honest, I did not feel like stopping at the grocery store after work. So we're gonna go with these instant and then I will of course doctor them up so they taste a little better. And as far as the steak goes, I just made the exact same dry rub that I made in the last video. So there is um, lots of pepper, sea salt, cumin, sage, a few crushed red pepper flakes, and then um, some ranch seasoning and about a half of a teaspoon of brown sugar in here. I'll go ahead and sprinkle those on the steaks, let them sit for a few minutes before we put them on the grill. And then once we put them on the grill, I will of course season the other side. So I'll show you guys as we continue to cook. Okay, so mashed potatoes have been cooked. I'm gonna add just a little bit of Parmesan cheese to them, as well as some pepper and a little bit of garlic powder to try and make these things a little bit more edible. To be honest, I don't hate um, instant mashed potatoes. They're decent as long as you cook them okay. And they'll do in a bind. Those are actually so good. Okay, I'm making the salad now and I went ahead and added my lettuce to the bowl and then crumbled some blue cheese to go on top. I'm also going to add a few of these um, Trader Joe's candied pecans. Y'all know we love these. And then I will squeeze a little bit of this fresh lemon juice on top. I'll add a few croutons as well as some bacon bits and then top it with a little bit of this balsamic vinaigrette. And that's it. Super easy salad. Checks it out. Oh, 
Yes. Hello. Hey. Woo, dinner is served, y'all, and it looks good. As I told you before, I like to melt blue cheese on my steak. Oh my lord. Okay, y'all, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got some meal inspiration for you and your family. Like I said, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you tried these. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!